And I'm kind of happy because I finally got my lighter fixed. So I can use this lighter today. Oh, yeah. I mean, the band's cool. The color's cool. I would like a little more shine. I don't know. It does look good, but I don't see how this is Moon Garden. I don't how can you even call that Moon Garden? Like, you go in there, like, there's only one moon. It's not like there's a whole garden moon. It's one moon. Very Cubanesque because the color and everything just say as special. In the dark with flowers and then the moon right there stares back at me. I feel like I'm in the dark with the freaking light just shining down to me. Every single day I'm gonna make something great That's my way Every single day I'm gonna make something great That's my, that's my way Hey guys, Tony the Story Sass Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. And you can see I am back to my original gear. Uh, I don't know why it took me so long to get to my original gear, but back to the original gear. So today, uh, the cigar is going to be Warped Especial Especial something. What's the name? Like, no, here's the thing. Like, when you have a band like this, you can't tell what it is. It's like, okay. So, Warp Moon Garden as special. There you go. Moon Garden as special. There you go. So, I'm trying to make sure that there is no word that says Moon Garden on it. So, I don't look like an idiot afterwards. There isn't. Okay, anyway. Five and. A little bit more than half. 5.625 by 52. Toro. All right. Wrapper is Nicaraguan. Binder is Nicaraguan. Filler is Nicaraguan. Corojo 99. Criollo 98. Medio Tiempo. All right. So MSRP, 16 bucks. All right. I don't usually uh, smoke warp, so... I don't have a lot of information on that. I had to read it off. But here it goes. It smells like sweet caramel argar. I don't know if everybody went out to buy argar and make it into argar jello. Kind of smells like that. <laughs> and a little bit of pepper. Holy shit. Pepper it is. Make sure I got fan. No heat. It's actually not that cold today. So I might take off this jacket in a minute. But. Just in case I got cold. Alright. Let's cut. And light. Yeah. Moon Garden. You know that name is funny because recently I've been watching a uh, manga or anime and the guy in there, he called the group Shadow Garden, which is kind of cool. Ooh. This draw. This draw is horrible. This draw is going to give me an issue. But anyway, floral... A little bit cedar and a little bit flora, a little bit of pepper hidden on the back. Yeah. And a little bit of leatheriness. Ooh, that pepper slowly crowd up. And I'm kind of happy because I finally got my lighter fixed. So I can use this lighter today. Oh, yeah. Come on. Almost there. Here we go. All right.
Definitely more pepper. Ooh, a lot of pepper on the retro hill. Oof. All right, once you retro hill, a lot of pepper. It burns. Earthiness, cedar, pepper, oof, pepper, pepper. There's a little bit of floral too. And like I say, that tastes like argar. Like the agar gelatin thing. It kind of tastes sweet. So I can't tell if there's vanilla sweet or caramel sweet. They're kind of right in between. This cigar is punchy. It's very, very punchy. Ugh. Try to kill me here. All right. So let me smoke one third and we'll come back to talk about this cigar because a lot of things going on here. I need, I need some time. I need some time in the moon garden. Like what? How, how can you even call that moon garden? Like you go in there, like there's only one moon. It's not like there's a whole garden moon. It's one moon. But yeah, yeah. Too much to think about. Be right back. All right, one third of the way through. You know, I have a little bit draw issue, so it's not giving me a lot of flavor, but what I can tell is that there is some sweetness. There's almost some ginger in there, and there's some woodsiness, there's some sweetness to it. So um, there's a little bit of woodsiness. There's almost some nuts or something like that. I can't really tell because it's going really light. But it's still pleasant. It's pleasant flavor. I just can't get a lot of it. So I might have to pull out a stem or something like that. But so far, so good for the one third. Um, I still didn't see a moon or a garden yet. Not that I, sh I should be hallucinating, but it's not there yet. It's not there. So let me smoke another two, uh, one third. Try to pull a stem out and see if that improves it. Because this, this moon garden literally right now is... Shadow Garden. I don't see any moon. I don't see any flower. I just see nothing. I'm sitting in a chair with a pot of ginger in front of my hands <laughs> or something like that. Okay. So yeah, let me smoke one, another one third and we'll be right back. This is not much to talk about in the beginning. $16. It's not there yet. Not there yet. Be right back. <laughs> Two third. Um... I kind of make a little hole so that it smokes better. Now I taste it more, but the flavor kind of just merge to each other. So it kind of tastes like gingerbread. Uh, yeah, gingerbread. Um, and some woodsy notes. I don't know, why is it $16? It doesn't taste that amazing. It's 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 enjoyable, but it's not sixteen dollar enjoyable, especially with this tight draw. But let's look at the first band, which it look very Cubanesque because the color and everything just say special. But like, isn't it special supposed like special? Special? I don't know. That's what they want to call it. It is what it is. So at last, they're left. I don't know what I think about a cigar. I just think that it's not worth $16 right now. At least to me. It tastes like an $8 cigar. If it's loosened up a little bit more, it'll be $9 to $10, but not $16. So, I don't know. Not a garden, not a moon garden. This might be a garden with a spotlight. Now, I, I don't feel like I'm sitting in a... In a garden in the dark with flowers and then the moon right there stares back at me. I feel like I'm in the dark with the freaking light just shining down to me. But it's like the street light. <laughs> it's the street light that's shining down at me, not not the moonlight. There's no moon. It's all pitch dark. Nope. Not there. Not there. Uh strength, because of the tide dry, it tastes like a medium, medium plus. 
more medium than medium plus, but medium plus. So, I don't know. It's a shame. I thought it was going to be different. Unfortunately, right now it's not. So, let's see if the last third did any better. And we'll go from there. Be right back. All right, that's it. Here's the band. I mean, the band's cool. The color's cool. I would like a little more shine. I don't know. It does look good, but I don't see how this is Moon Garden. I don't see that at all. Uh, this looks like a 1980s decoration somewhere in the house. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't look like Moon, Moon Garden to me. It has KG in the logo, but obviously I don't know what that means. So... KG. A G can be garden, but K? I don't know. The cigar itself, not that impressive. Um, I, I feel like it's an $8 cigar. So, inside, oh, okay, here we go. By Kyle Gillis. That says in the back, okay. Be, ex be exclusively different. So, I don't know. Nothing impressive, nothing special. Eight dollars a cigar. I wouldn't pay sixteen dollars for it. Um, I don't. Last third didn't improve that much. It has a little bit more strength, a little bit more flavor, but it's the same thing. So, mm, I don't know. If you have a different experience, you let me know because I I don't see what's different about this. I don't see what's special about this. So, it is what it is. Um, I wouldn't recommend it. I would not pay $16 for it. So, that being said, this is the cigar review. If you like it, like, subscribe, share, comment. Yeah, I'm like so out of work because it's nothing. I was so shocked that this cigar, other than a little bit sweet, tastes like gingerbread, and has some pepper in the beginning, it was gone after that. It was nothing. It, it just gets worse and worse and worse and worse. I need, to, I need to smoke another cigar. So, I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.